Hi, I'm Yale Cohen. I'm the founder of www.letsfcancer.com. And today we're going to talk about fuck cancer. Kelly Hayes with GenConnect.com. I'm joined today here by Yale Cohen, who is the founder of Let'sFCancer.com. But there's a little more provocative name to that. Thing. The movement is called Fuck Cancer. Well, you know, on this website, generally we don't utilize profanity, but I think that anybody who's been touched by cancer has wanted to use that word. Did you have any personal experiences that led you to this? I did. Uh, it's actually all for my mom. Mm -hmm. In 2009, mm -hmm. my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer and I uh, helped with her treatment and her care and after her first surgery got her a shirt made that said fuck cancer and it was something that I thought she would wear privately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My mom is not the type of woman to swear never mind wear fuck in public mm -hmm. uh, but she wore it everywhere mm -hmm. and I can now see that it was really cathartic for her but it was also really astounding to see people's response. You know there was hugs and high fives and everybody wanted to hear her story and everybody was willing to open up and share theirs and so it was evident that it was a sentiment that really resonated and we wanted to do some good with it. So when people go to the site now, what can they expect to find? They're going to find education. Mm -hmm. So how do you talk to your parents about cancer? How to get, teach your parents how to look for cancer instead of just find it. Family history, risk factors, earliest warning signs, annual diagnostics, as well as a, a, a community, a community to share your experiences, help others with theirs, and in general, have an authentic emotional response. Mm -hmm. Not one that may be typically endorsed by society, but one that allows you to feel whatever the hell you're feeling uh, in a safe space. Is it a safe space? Is it a, is it a fun space? Is it a place that people can go and form a community around? Tell me a little bit about the site itself. That's the hope. You know, we're actually updating the site at the moment. Mm -hmm. So in a few months it's going to be a whole new beast <laughs> uh, with some fantastic content pieces we've been building out for months and just haven't had a a place to put them. You know, the site needed it needed a facelift to house all of the wonderful content and community we've been building for the last six months. As a survivor of a cancer, as a daughter of a cancer survivor, um, how has being involved in this space changed your life? Uh, well, obviously, my mom getting cancer fundamentally altered my life. Uh, cancer is what I eat and sleep and breathe. But you know, it's that sounds so horrible. It's not cancer. It's health and wellness and our lifestyle is what I eat and sleep and breathe. So it's made me very much more aware of my own lifestyle and what I put into and do with my body and how that relates to my overall health and my, my future risk factors. If you had one piece of advice for someone who was dealing with cancer, what would it be? Communicate. Talk about it. You know, as a society we suck at communicating about cancer. We get uncomfortable or guilty or confused and we either step away or we cling. And I would, I would say it's communication. Make sure that you are either getting the support you need as a patient or as a caregiver and giving the support that your loved one, friends or family, uh, need. So, talk. Uh, Yale, congratulations on what you do. One more time, how can people find you? At www.letsfcancer.com. Terrific. And you can see more with Yale Cohen at genconnect.com.